we present some new features of the Lynx and Elgate 6.1 release. The LSMI 804 interface is supported. Up to 64 SMI devices can be connected and controlled. This 4-channel SMI interface can be used with any Loitec device equipped with an USB port. The backup restore function in the web interface has been enhanced. It is possible to select whether a backup should contain passwords, IP settings and historical data. Also, when restoring a backup, it can be selected whether passwords and IP settings are to adopt or not. This makes it easy to replicate devices without changing configuration settings and passwords of already installed devices. The web interface for Modbus commissioning has been extended. The configuration of LSTAT devices can now be stored in a backup. With Restore Configuration, this backup can be imported to LSTAT devices. This makes it easy to duplicate configurations. The regular device backup of all Loitec devices includes LSTAT device backups as well. The data point scanner has been updated. Now it is possible to identify newly scanned data points or already used data points. With the columns last scan and used on the device, the data points can be sorted in order to obtain a better overview. A graphical floor plan editor was integrated in the web interface of the wireless LAN mesh configurator. The used mesh nodes can now be placed easily and clearly. With the new online link monitor, quality of the communication is displayed in real time. Thus, the communication between the mesh nodes can be easily analyzed and weak connections are discovered. The column order of the data point list now has a flexible layout. It is possible to change the column arrangement. Also, columns can be added to obtain more information or can be removed to restrict the information accordingly. The functionality of the LCD display has been enhanced. To rotate the display by 180 degrees is helpful when devices must be installed upside down. In addition, the user interface now supports the Chinese language. The language setting can be selected directly on the device without rebooting.
In Ocean devices that require profiles with variable data length are now fully supported. The respective device templates are provided by Loitec. In the web interface, the wizard dialogues were extended. This guides through the teach-in process for bidirectional profiles and the assignment of transmission IDs. In addition to the previously shown features, the LDALI has been extended by the following functions. The Sunblind Controller application was equipped with a BACnet interface and is now available in the BACnet LDALI devices. In order to simplify the use of the SMI devices, Sunblind Controller bindings are available, quite similar to the Constant Light Controller application. This feature can be used in the configurator as well as in the web interface. The Constant Light Controller application was extended. The modes Control and Regulator have each received a new variation. In both variation, the automatic mode must be manually activated. The automatic mode will be disabled whenever lights are switched off, either due to becoming unoccupied or due to enough natural light being available. The new Neighboring Controller function has been developed specially for use in open office spaces to provide a more pleasant atmosphere and reduce contrasts to unoccupied areas. In Lonmark Eldali devices, user-defined network variables can now be created. This adds more flexibility when custom adoptions to the standard lighting and sunblind applications are required. Detailed information to the Lynx and LGATE 6.1 release can be found in the README file of the Lynx Configurator 6.1, the README file of the firmware 6.1 of the different devices, and in the manual in the chapter What's New in Lynx and LGATE 6.1.